I finally tested the number one strategy to get cheap skins. Well, I came all the way to Belgium to buy this. But it seems Respawn were one step ahead. You see, Respawn just released a new event called Void Raiders. There's an issue though. I really want this caustic skin because it has a brutal select animation I need to see. Here's the thing though. The skins in the Void Raider event are only obtainable through a new event pack system where the only way to get items is randomly through event packs that you have to purchase. And that can lead to you racking up a big bill for one skin. So that's a risk I'm not willing to take. There is a workaround though that not many people know about that you can use to choose any skin you want. And the workaround lies right here. You see, good old EA made such a bad screw up that a country made a literal law to target their games and microtransaction practices. Or at this point, macrotransactions. The country that created this law, Belgium. You see, back in 2018, Belgium passed a law to ban loot boxes and other similar gambling mechanics from video games that were active in their country. After doing an investigation between the links of loot boxes and gambling addiction development. I mean, I can't see any link between gambling and loot boxes. No, I think you're quite insane to suggest a link actually. To pass this law, the Belgian government launched an investigation where four standout games were made an example of. FIFA 18. Overwatch, Counter-Strike, and Star Wars Battlefront 2. And you know, all of these games have their own reasons to why they were investigated. The best part, two of the games being investigated to pass this law were EA games. These guys had screwed up. Believe it or not, a link was found between loot boxes and gambling, and the concept of paid random chance loot boxes and games were made illegal in Belgium, which pushed game companies into a decision. Stop the game being sold in Belgium or remove loot boxes to avoid a potentially 1.6 million euro fine and jail time. Jail time for who? Mr. EA, I guess. Companies mostly went with the latter. CS invented an x-ray system as a workaround to open their famous or infamous loot boxes, and EA also had to create loot box alternatives in their games, which in turn affected their in-development game at the time, Titanfall 3, which would become Apex. So how did Apex remove loot boxes? Well, they just removed packs from purchase and replaced all of the packs on the battle pass with crafting materials. Here's the best part though, because of this, an unexpected strategy grew within the Apex community. Thanks to this law, people discovered that in Apex, the Belgian version of Apex's Battle Pass allowed better rewards than the normal one, and you could get thousands of crafting materials instead of a few packs, because legendary packs were replaced with 800 crafting. That's insane. This birthed the Belgium glitch in Apex. To activate this glitch, it was pretty simple. You literally just put your location to Belgium in your EA account settings. It was extremely simple and you did it once. It was only a few clicks, so over time, the Belgium glitch's popularity would slowly grow and it went on for a whole 16 seasons with little to no repercussions until one fateful day last year. But first, do you ever have moments like this in Apex? Oh my God. Oh my god, dude. Well, there's a solution. Lots of you wonder how I get such a fantastic and consistent ping in Apex Legends. And I'll let you into a secret. It's gear up a ping reducer. It's used by pros like Hal, like Verhulst, and even Team TSM, you know. No biggie. So I'd say gear up is pretty safe and you won't get banned for it. Gear up basically optimizes the connection for people who are suffering with network issues or are really far away from servers. And because it makes your connection more stable, you get lower ping. And it keeps it nice and consistent so you don't have ridiculous ping spikes. It's really easy to use. As you saw, it's literally one click. And all you gotta do is choose your server. And if you have any issues with the application, their customer service is really quick as well. And console users, don't worry. They have a game router on consoles called Hyperev. I have a challenge too. This is the lowest I can get my ping with gear up. So what's your lowest ping you can get with gear up? Links to gear up are in the description and pinned comments so check them out and thank you gear up for sponsoring this video because trust me it really helped what happens later in this video. The Belgium glitch though it went on for a very long time until one fateful day in season 16. What happened on this day? Well when season 16 started people using the Belgium glitch were having fun until they realized they started earning packs which shouldn't be possible. This meant one thing that many people feared. Respawn had patched the Belgium glitch. Now switch your account location to Belgium meant nothing. You had to have a computer IP coming from Belgium to be able to enter the Belgian storefront. This kind of forced the people who wanted to continue using the Belgium glitch into two options. Either move to Belgium because of Apex skins, or the more risky route and laggy route, use a VPN to Belgium anytime you play Apex, which is just not a good idea for anybody because this would add so much lag onto your game, it's unbelievable. Also, it does seem VPNs are bannable, so many players just refuse to risk the VPN strat 
and the Belgium glitch would slowly start to lose relevance and only a few people would continue to use it. Three seasons later in season 19, after the Belgium glitch was patched by EA, we found out what many people thought to be the reason EA patched the Belgium glitch. The reason was an event. The event that was released was called the Final Fantasy event and it operated in a way that we hadn't seen for years in Apex and we never expected this way of operation to return. In this event, the only way you could obtain around 70% of the items in this event was through Apex pack unboxings, where the packs were often priced higher than a typical event pack. In this event, you simply had to hope the packs you bought would drop the item you wanted. I don't know about you, but from where I'm from, this is called gambling. Luckily, there was hope in this event you could buy a select few skins from the event shop without having to gamble for them in packs. Although, this was only 6 of the over 30 items in this event, and also these skins were priced higher than the typical 1800 price tag of event skins. Also in this event, there was a curveball oddity. There was a random chance with any event pack you opened that you would unbox a first of its kind universal heirloom sword from the event packs. Although the chances to get this sword were really low and you're probably more likely to be shot at while playing Apex. Look it up, it happens a lot for some reason. Of course though, when this event released, players from Belgium started flexing their ability to buy any skin they wanted on demand from this event. Although it wasn't great for Belgian players because if they wanted the sword, they had to buy every single item which would cost them $580, unlike in normal countries where it would only cost you $200 to $300. Despite this though, people were really jealous of the Belgium storefront of the Final Fantasy event because let's be real, I'd rather have this Watson skin than a sword any day. Unfortunately though, it only gets worse because one season later, we would get the infamous Shadow Society event. This event took everything good and bad from the Final Fantasy event and removed all the good and kept the bad. The free first pack at the start of the event that everybody can claim, gone. The ability to individually purchase select skins, gone. Now if you wanted any skin, you had to open it from a pack and just hope you got lucky. The worst part was, the skins were so damn cool. Apex clearly saved the best skins for this event and I'm so mad I couldn't pick this up. Immediately when this event released, I blew the Belgian horn on Twitter and had Intel relay to me that Belgium still had the ability to purchase any skin of their choosing while the rest of the world had to spend potentially hundreds to get the skin they wanted. With the Shadow Society event though, Apex fans had learned and it had become a pretty widespread strategy amongst players to use a VPN to buy certain skins they wanted instead of gambling. I mean, who in the right mind is buying a $10 pack and trying to roll the 1 in 30 chance of getting a skin they wanted? Nobody. Unfortunately, since the Season 16 patch, the VPN was the only way to do it, so it was impossible for console players. After the Shadow Society event though, Respawn caught on. Unfortunately, they realised if people really wanted a skin, they would simply use a VPN and potentially lose Respawn money. This is where the newest gambling, I mean milestone event comes in. Season 21 launched with an event called Void Raiders, and here the same rules applied. You had to get skins from a random chance pack. So, when this event dropped, I had to see the Belgian version for myself and not get banned using a VPN. As you'll come to find out though, Respawn was one step ahead of me. We have been in serious problem. And yeah, I went to Belgium armed with a laptop to test this out. First, I had to get my spot in Burger King and then check out the game. I mean, at least we got a view. Immediately when Apex loaded, I noticed one thing about the Void Raiders event. The caustic skin doesn't have a prompt. And this is because Respawn have been cheeky. Only in Belgium do you need to buy every single item before the caustic skin to get the caustic skin because it has a special select animation. Respawn didn't do this before people started abusing the glitch, so I'm assuming they did this to stop people using the Belgium glitch. Regardless, I still wanted to get a skin in this event considering I'd come all this way, but first, I decided to check the battle pass, and yes, it does have the crafting materials on it. The weird thing I did notice is that the battle pass does still have packs, but only in the free tracker, as you cannot pay for packs in Belgium, but you sure can earn them. Still, I found a silly loophole and paid for tears to get to the pack, so is this class just paying for a pack? Did I just break the law? Let's not think about it too much. And yes, packs can still be opened here, and still, I had no look. Plus, when I went further into the menus, it was true. The Apex pack section is completely greyed out. You physically cannot buy Apex packs. And this means something bad for people in Belgium. It's literally hundreds of times harder to get an heirloom here because you can only get them from the free part of the battle pass or leveling up. So, people in Belgium probably don't have that many heirlooms, which sucks. I also checked out the in-game store and any single bundle in the game that has packs cannot be purchased in Belgium at all. So, if you want this Loba edition skin, you can't get it because it's only ever been sold with packs. I have no clue why Respawn and EA don't just sell bundles 
problems over in Belgium without the packs. I mean, what is going on? Finally, though, I had to make a decision. I had to buy a skin. And looking over the skins, I realized Belgium had replaced the purchasable caustic skin with purchasable battle pass stars instead, which is strange, but I ended up buying the Loba skin because, I mean, look at the side profile of that skin. Okay, listen, I just appreciate good skin design. Honestly, Belgian Apex is very different, and as cool as it is being able to buy your own skins, there are a lot of downsides, like lack of packs, lack of being able to buy your own skins, lack of being able to participate in certain events because they contain packs. I think it's cool over there, but people outside of Belgium definitely have a better Apex experience. Although, that could change. Respawn could introduce a mega gambling event where you have to gamble to shoot your gun. I hope that gives people a better understanding of this glitch, and also, Belgium's a beautiful country. It was awesome. And subscribe if you want more stuff like this.